It's Saturday night guys and we're going stealth camping. You know what I'm talking about. Rides. So folks, welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show. If you're new to the channel and you want to see some proper stealth camping, well you've come to the right place. Because tonight we're going for a stealth camp behind a harvester restaurant. The dangerous thing is it's still open so there's going to be customers, there'll be cars in the car park. So I'll have to be really careful that I don't get spotted. I'll bring it back when we get a bit closer. Oh, oh you know, it makes sense, man, dingoes. And my pathway is blocked off. We'll have to go this way instead. So it's going to be more of the usual, guys. I've got some beers to drink, some food to cook. I've been kindly given a little bottle of whiskey from a distillery called the Border Distilleries. Well, thank you to them for that. I'll obviously show you that later on. You know what that means, man, dingoes. Stick around for the world famous Blot Outdoors Wasky Review. You better believe it. Ah. Oh. So I'm only a couple of minutes walk away now guys. I'm gonna come down this busy road, walk around the corner, and then when you cross over the, the busy traffic lights, there'll be a McDonald's, a different one from where I camped at, and then there'll be the Harvester restaurant. So here we are folks, that's where I'm going to get tonight, hopefully, over in that corner in the bushes. But I'm not going to go straight in yet, because there's a few cars here. Obviously, I don't want to get spotted, and that'll ruin it. So I think I'm just going to have a mooch about. We'll have a walk down there. I might even go over to McDonald's and get a coffee. And just sit and wait, maybe till it gets a bit darker. Right, bring it back guys. So I've just been in the shop, got myself a sugar donut. I'm gonna to go to McDonald's now for a coffee. When I was walking past the harvester, when I had the camera turned off, there was a bloke going in with his wife and kids. And he was looking at me like I was a right nonce. So I think I'm just gonna give it half an hour, sit outside McDonald's with a coffee, and hopefully he's not looking for me. He's probably looking out the window as now, wondering what the hell I'm doing. Well, it's that time, guys, to go make a move for it. All right, man. Aye, aye. Hopefully, there's no one there looking. Uh, 
I've been having to wait because when I was sitting there, it says that the, there's like a children's plaything inside, and that's until seven o'clock. So I've been trying to wait until seven. Because I don't want anyone thinking there's some pedo looking through the windows at the kids. I'm just pretending I'm walking over this way and then I'm going to try and nip down and get down behind fuck's sake sorry for the language guys this is the proper dodgy one oh fucking hell oh fuck right I mean I mean So I've gotten in folks, I'm just hoping and praying that there was no parents of the kids looking out the pub window because I've just noticed, I don't know if you can see there, I don't know if the camera's picking that up, there's windows out the back here looking through to where the kids is playing and the last thing I need is some angry dad coming out here and kicking the shit out of us I think there's about 10 minutes left and the children's play thing's finished so I'm going to lay low I'm going to turn the camera off guys I'll bring you back in a few minutes right cheers man dingoes Just sitting chilling. That nice kind of board. Oh, I'm not gonna get any of my gear empty bag yet. And I've still I've just got this awful feeling. I mean, just round the corner there, just round there, there's the, the fire door for the pub. So I've just got an awful feeling that a staff member's gonna stick their head around the corner and see us. I don't think anyone, any customers have seen us because someone would have been round by now. More people leaving the pub with the kids. Right. So, I think I'm gonna wait a good hour before I get any of my gear out of my bag. I'll have a couple of these. Right, a couple of these. And then I think I'll settle down a bit and then I'll set some gear up. You know what I'm talking about, man, Dingo's. This, the serious stuff coming. Right. Right folks, I'm just giving you a little look at where I am. And these bushes here and trees. I'm gonna to have to be so careful because just through there, you can see, oh, I can see, I don't know if you can see, there's some houses. So, although no one's seen us getting in here, it's only going to take someone from one of the houses to spot us, and that'll be the end of this stealth camp. Now that I've put the torch on, and I can see it's absolutely minging round here. Look at the clip of that. Oh God, I didn't realize how bad it was when it was dark. Anyway, folks, I'm gonna try and make, I'm gonna try and make it a little bit more comfortable for myself now and get some gear set up. And then um, I'll show you what I've got to eat and drink 
and I'll like carry on. Right folks, so I've just getting my gear set up. I'm not going to put my bivvy up. I'm going to trust the weather. I've been checking the weather before I came out and it's forecast for no rain all night. So, it may be a major error on my part, but I'm willing to take that risk. So in the morning, I can just pack up really quick and get out of Dodge City. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, here, I'll show you my little setup. So there we are, folks. As you can see, I've got the foil thing down in the bottom. Under that, I've got a little waterproof top. It's only a little one, it's not covering the full length, but it'll have to do. I've got me Berghaus self-inflating mat, sleeping bag, it's only a two season one, but I've got some down trousers and down slippers there, and my down jacket, it's not too cold at the minute. So that's where I'm going to be sleeping guys, fingers crossed that there's no rain tonight. Also got me little pillar. There's me seat where I'm gonna sit. Oh shit. And I'm gonna enjoy three cans of bud. I did bring some burgers and some spicy cheese, but honestly, it's absolutely ramen of piss around here. It proper stinks. So I'm not gonna I'm not going to bother cooking them. I'll have them for me dinner tomorrow when I get home. But I've got some snacks anyway. I've got some German peppered salami. I've got a beef pasty there, or Cornish pasty, wherever you want to call it. And that's the little bottle of whiskey I got given from the Border Distilleries. Lower East Side blended Scotch Waski. So, like I said, I'll do the, the Waski review later on. There you go, guys. That's where I'll be sleeping the night. Ho oh, ho! That'll ding dang do for me, man, dingoes. You better believe it will. Right. Cheers, guys. <clears throat> Nearly choking. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. I just want to say <clears throat> a massive thank you to everyone who's bought me a coffee in the comments section I always leave a link where you can buy me a coffee well you know what I'm probably going to spend it on whiskey but it does help the channel with other things like fuel costs and well all sorts of things so to everyone that's supported the Blotted Door show there's your names down there thank you very much Something I'm going to do every week from now. Anyone that buys me a coffee, whiskey, and then um, supports the Blood of Door Show, I'll put your names on the screen down there every week. So, just want to say a massive thank you. Really appreciate it, guys. You know it makes total sense. Two rights.
saw forks. <clears throat> Snack time now. I'm just having this German peppered salami. Very nice. It's just the cheap stuff from Aldi's. 89 pence a packet. You can't go wrong. I've already eaten my Cornish video nasty. Like I said earlier on, there's no way I could cook around here. It really stinks. Shh. I'm just here, people. Walking down the street. Yeah. When I first got here, with the adrenaline and the excitement and my heart beating and jumping over the fence into this spot, worrying if I'd been spotted, I couldn't smell a thing. But once I got settled in, oh God, then I could smell how bad this place is. Honestly, if you could smell it, it's really bad. So I know I'm eating now still, but I'm hungry. I couldn't cook anything. Anyway, guys, I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish the rest of me salami. I've got one more kind of butter drink. And then we'll do... The Wask Review. You better believe it. Oh yeah! Cheers guys! Time it is, Mandingos. Waski time. You better believe it is. And what I've got this week is lower east side, lower east side blended Scotch waski, which was kindly given. To, oh, I can't get any words out. <laughs> which was kindly given to me from the border distillery. I'm going to give it an honest review. So, guys. Have you got your whiskey ready? Sit and have a drink with me while I do this. If you don't like whiskey, get yourself a gin or a vodka or rum, whatever you like. Anyway, let's get the old bacon in it. A little bit of a vanilla smell. And a definite smell of almonds which is really nice for me because I love almonds. I think this is going to be a good one. Anyway, guys, that's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the tasting. Oh, right. A very mild and really smooth.
Mm. That's really nice. A little bit smokiness to it, but just the perfect amount of smoke. Because we all know from previous Waski reviews, too much smoke can ruin the whiskey. That's just perfect. Mm. Now after three or four tastes, I'm getting a nice little hint of honey coming through. Delicious. And I think I can taste the almonds as well. Just a tiny bit. I can definitely smell them. But that is absolute top quality. I highly recommend that to anyone. If you go on their website, I will leave a link in the description for the Border Distillery. They also sell other spirits, but I highly recommend you buy one of these, absolutely fantastic. Mm. Nice smell of almonds. A little bit of vanilla. A little bit of smoke in the taste. A lovely hint of honey. And it goes down really smooth. Well, Mandingos, I'm going to give that a massive 9 out of 10. Brilliant. And there we go. That's the end of this Waski review. You know what I'm talking about. This is serious stealth camping. Right. Right guys, it's time for me to get in bed now and hopefully I can get a good night's sleep. I'm in my sleeping bag now guys. Nice and snug. It's getting a little bit chilly now, but it's not too bad. In a few weeks time it'll be really cold. So this two season sleeping bag, it'll be no good. I'll have to get me four season one out. Anyway, I'm gonna try and get some sleep now. I'm gonna have a few minutes on my phone. Hopefully, that'll make us feel tired. Right guys, I'll see you first thing in the morning. Good morning, Mandingos. It's seven o'clock. Oh, that was a long night. I was getting a little bit sleep and then I was waking up and then a little bit sleep and then waking up. But luckily, the weather forecast was right. No rain. So, I think it's time to get up now. Get packed up and get away. Bring you back in a second. So there you go folks, I'm all packed up. That's my garbage. There's too much of the shit to pick up. If there was only... Oh. If there was only a few more bits and pieces I would have picked them up, but it's too much. But I've got my garbage, that's the main thing. Right guys, I'm gonna put my garbage into my big bag put my bag on and we're away as you can see that's the little fence I was trying to climb over in the dark last night it's a bit of a nightmare in the pitch black a couple of vehicles there at McDonald's Right, no one's looking in this direction. Let's get over this fence. That's it. 
We're out. We're out. Oh yeah. You know it makes sense. Another successful stealth camp. So guys, that's the end of this video. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have making it. I've got about 10 minutes now and I'll be home. I'm gonna go straight in the bath. Nice hot steaming bath. Cause that's stunk down there. Then I'll get on with editing the video. So I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please leave a comment. I'll try and reply to as many people as I can. If I don't reply to you, I will have read your message and I'll like it or give it a love heart. So you know I have read them all. That's about it guys. Next week, I'll be back out on another stealth camp with the one and only Little Mick, AKA the Little Mandingo. So remember to tune in for that. Should be a good laugh. See you next week. Right. Oh, uh, I'm